Have you ever felt trapped on Earth? Have you ever wanted to explore more than just Earth? When you look up into the stars, what do you think? What do you feel? Don't you wish you could see them? Well, now you can't because you got this game. So let's jump right into this. And uh, as you can see, uh, this is my character. And this was a random character that I created a long time ago, Frogger Extreme. Which. Yeah, okay, so. Today we're going to be playing Starbound. Because we're bound for stars. Wait, I mean, we're bound for the stars. That's what I meant to say. Now now, this game was released on December 4th on 2013, and it's been in development for, what, 14, 2015, it's been in development for about three years, and honestly, this could be a full game, but by the, by the looks of it, it looks like they're adding a lot more, and it looks like they've got a long way to go now. For a while, I, th I saw this game almost as a lost cause. Because, I mean, I didn't like. I thought I thought this was a full game before. Like, like I thought this was a full game, but I kind of saw like the developers. I felt like they weren't putting much heart into it anymore because the updates were being delayed quite a lot, honestly. But um, no, they they've brought this game back to life. They picked it back up and they're putting more and more and more and more stuff into it. So it's honestly very really impressive. This is this. I thought. They were pretty much done with this game. I thought they had finished it and weren't going to add any more into it. And it was kind of like just an early access game that would have been to stay in early access pretty much forever. But no, no, no. They've done a lot with this game. So, uh, as you can see here, we have different species that they've added. And the newest one, um, I believe, that came out a long time ago was the Nova Kid, which is basically. Uh, all these characters have their own lore. You, you'll see what. Uh, what happens, um, and what I'm talking about, how they have their own lore, but, uh, so let me just introduce the few species they have, uh, there's the human, of course, uh, you can, yeah, and all the species have their own genders, so that's pretty cool, too, now, human, uh, which is obviously human, enough said, you don't need to know anymore that, 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 uh, avian, which is a bird humanoid, and they're very, very, uh, tribal, now, I wouldn't say tribalistic, I don't even know if that's a word, they, they, uh, they follow heritage, they follow, like, you'll see in the game, they're kind of like the Egyptians in a way, because they got these temples and stuff like that, they bury their dead, they have sarcophaguses and things like that, and it's pretty interesting. Then we have the Apex, which are practically Planet of the Apes, enough said, you know, uh, if you've seen that movie, uh, Humanoid Apes, they're sentient apes, you know, they act like humans, and they wear clothes and everything, so that's pretty sweet too. And then we have the Florins, and they are a breed of, uh, and this is a female, I don't, the male and female don't change too much, but, uh, this is the female, and right now, like, the characters are pretty much fully customizable with a lot of things, so it doesn't really matter if you're male or female because sometimes you can't even tell with some of these alien races, but uh, these guys are hunters and they're basically carnivorous plants. They go hunting and they hunt and they try to gather as much meat as possible and they go hunting. It's really confusing, but they, got a, they have a lot of funny dialogue in this game. They have a lot of funny dialogue. Uh, these are Hylo... I'm not going to pronounce this right. Hylotol. Hi, 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 okay. These are like tadpoles almost. They're pretty much fish that evolved in a way. Uh, they're alien race, obviously, and they function. I don't know how. They're just the water breathers and things like that. I don't think they can. I think they can. There used to be a, an update. I remember that they could breathe underwater, but. I don't think they can anymore, so I'm not completely sure about how that all goes. Because, like I said, this is this game is bug still, and um, 
There we go. Here's here's a glitch. Now this is a sentient robot thing, and there's male and female, and yes, and then the, the Nova Kid. Now these are pretty much little gas balls that came from the sun, and they gave their own brands and things like that on their faces. And all these characters are really unique, but just because I'm human and I like being a human and I don't like being an alien. Why am I customizing a girl? Uh, I'm going to go for a human, so give me a second. There you go, that seems about right, and uh, by the way, I just realized this. Um, if you set your character to another gender or you pick another race, you can see what their preset would look like. Like that. So. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Uh, the only thing I don't like is you can't choose what your underwear looks like, and you'll see you'll see what your underwear looks like when you're sleeping, which is interesting, I guess. And then uh, I picked hardcore mode, and his name is Space Dandy, so because I I'm actually wearing a Space Dandy shirt right now, so I I love Space Dandy. Uh, you can choose casual, which lose pixels upon death, normal, lose pixels and drop all your items. And then hardcore, you die, you die. So I'm hopefully not gonna die. Now I'm gonna. Uh, that's why you'll understand why I put on my I put others too on casual because this game is hard. So you start out the game like this. It's gonna tell you uh, reboot, reboot, blah 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 blah. This is your sale, sale based artificial intelligence. So this is your artificial artificial intelligence right there. That's your artificial. Intelligence. You got the ship storage locker, blah blah blah. Now, this is clarified as tier zero, and honestly, I think this is pretty cool. I, at one point, I wanted to decorate my ship like this, but um, you obviously can't. So, reboot, reboot, blah blah blah. blah. All right, so we're gonna issue that command. Boot initiated, new super user acquired. Hello, sale thanks on the sale. I'll be helping you, blah blah blah. So we're going to enable the matter manipulator. Now this is an important element in the game. Your matter manipulator is an awesome way of interacting with the world. You can try to enable it for you. So enable it. Woo! Yes. Alright. And uh, honestly, they, they added a lot to this game. Um, and I can't quite remember. Yeah, I'm only, yeah, this was in the very early stages of this game. Because I remember playing this a long time ago. Way before they added a lot of this. So now we're going to enable the teleporter. So we can get down to this planet. Now, this planet is not Earth. So, you'll see this game is really interesting. Um, every character has a little bit of lore about themselves. So, uh, I'll read just this one small page. Humanity was flooring a species with a high evolutionary rate and extremely hardy in terms of healing, recovery, and endurance. They are the first rate to engage in space travel, both for science and entertainment. But their limitations restricted them to you their own solar system. Eventually they began to war among themselves more frequently with Earth's resources depleting, returning to space races, each of the world's superpowers attempted to claim and colonize new planets, which basically is what's probably gonna happen with our planet. Exactly what that say. So this lore seems legit. Focus! Okay, sorry. To claim and colonize our planet, uh, uh, while in the midst of a particularly lengthy struggle to claim Mars, the humans observe a beast from beyond the stars crash land on our Earth. Now this is known as the Great Evil. So far, I think you'll see, you'll you'll learn more lore if you play this game. But for the most part, I just want to introduce you guys to the game itself. World leaders were heard to exclaim, "Blah blah blah, something is a sci-fi movie. You better run for it. Maybe it's friendly last night." This person was later fired. That's that's pretty funny. Okay, so. Now we're gonna figure out why our ship got destroyed. I think this is this was the official this was the official starting guide you you would always see in the earlier, earlier games. I didn't read this one. I read this one. So the human journey begins. So each character has their own lore. Uh, Earth has been ripped apart. You have been searching for a new home for some time. Finally, your ship has run out of fuel and orbit on another planet. You'd be slightly guilty about the little alien you brought on board. The little hungry alien that you ejected out of the airlock after it ate the rest of the crew. But there's no sense in crying over spilled blood, you think. Spill fuel, however, is a different story. So. We are going to go down there and get some 20 core fragments. Now. Uh, give me a... Alright, now. Matter Nipinilla, you can hit R to press it and easily select it. 
uh, you're on the surface right now, and it's pr this game is really cool. So, yeah. What I did is I just hit E on these plants. If you look at them, press E, you can harvest them. Now this thing right here, this thing that's shaking, that was, uh, I don't even know. It's like a little supply box or something like that. They're little capsules, and they get left on the plants. They usually have money and things like that. So right now, um, I'm going to show you, to be completely honest with you, I just want to show you, whoa, 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 I can't die yet. No, 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 no. Ooh, ooh. And by the way, in this game, you can't take fall damage. You got to be very careful about that. So anyways, um, I'm going to just introduce you to the basics of this game and show you what it's kind of, kind of what it's about. Um, so, uh, in order to do that quickly, instead of having to take a long time and harvest things, I will type slash admin and give myself admin. Alright, so we're going to do this. We're going to type slash spawn item diamond drill. And of course, diamonds in this game are the strongest mineral. Like everything else. Now, you can see you have an inventory pack. You have furniture items. So saplings and seeds would be pretty much furniture items. And then you, of course, have... Are these guys trying to kill me? Okay. Uh, oh yeah, and by the way, when you use admin abilities, I know it's kind of cheating, but this game would take a long time otherwise. And don't you worry, I will go back to legit mode in a little bit. I just want to reboot my ship and show you. So we're going to drill a hole. And yes, you could probably. If you've ever played Terraria, Terraria, whatever it is, you um probably understand that this game takes a lot of time like you there's a lot of mining in this game it's really repetitive you know so using admin commands kind of like in minecraft and things like that to use like minecraft creative mode when you can spawn stuff in you can do exactly this in this game now i found this out just yesterday and yeesh you have no idea now this yeah, those that thing was a status pod. Now they've they've changed it up from what I remember. Because what I remember is they used to either poison you, set you on fire, uh, heal you, and there's a couple of things. Now. Another thing in this game which is pretty interesting is there are these special dungeons, and uh, this is what I believe to be an apex dungeon. Um, there's nothing important about it right now. You can't do too much. You can. You can harvest the materials and, uh, let's see, get them, get them, but there's no treasure chest. Usually these places have some kind of treasure chest or items. And one of the things you can do is you can take these lights and you can take some of those decorations and sell these things, because these things are worth a pretty good amount of money, honestly. And I don't remember quite when they introduced the shop function, but the shop function was newer, it's newer. Um, you have no idea how obnoxious it was to use your matter manipulator or something and accidentally pick up something you didn't want. Alright, that was an apex. That was one of the apes, uh, dungeons. Now this is the glitch dungeon. Uh, one of them. And there's no glitch down here or anything. But, yes, uh, as you can see there. And this is what happens when you use an admin's, uh, Box. You get all the items in the game. You can pretty much spawn anything in. Um, thank you. Um, but let me show you this. I'll turn off my admin. Now, we can only cook stuff we've known to cook. And I picked up corn and I also picked up uh, wheat. So those are the only two items I have. Now, uh, oh, and I picked up rice. So if you have anything that requires rice, you get the recipe for rice. Or, well, not necessarily. You have to cook some of this stuff sometimes. See, you if you prepare or you make bread or something. See, if you learn to look down at the bottom, learn to craft fish fingers, meat dumplings, blah blah blah. So, um, you'll learn to cook more stuff as you play. You learn, your character will learn to do more things, which is really cool. You pick up certain items. Your character. Will, Why is there so many dungeons down here? Jeez. Uh, and they've added a few dungeons too. Um. And I think it was just yesterday or something, so... 
this is an avian room. This is what I was talking about. They're kind of uh, almost like Egyptians. They follow tradition. They do a lot of uh, old age old tradition stuff. Now this is a matter module component, and these come. This was a new item too, because what you used to have to do is you'd have to find the materials and minerals to upgrade that. Uh, you're not this thing. You're matter matter manipulator now. For a long time, they can only pick up. They couldn't pick up a lot of things like the first version of the game. You could upgrade it to pick it up. You could upgrade it once and pick up water. Now this won't even pick up water. See, uh, this you can actually pick up lava too. You can pick up any liquid substance now. Yes, you can see I'm catching on fire now. Uh, I'm just trying to speed run this guy's speed up for you, show you kind of what's going on. Uh, and then, and then I promise it'll be more interesting because this game is sandbox. So, um, give me a sec. You need about 20 of these things, I think, to ship said. Oh, and by the way, another thing, another feature in this game is is uh, teleporting right here. So you see on the right side of the screen, top right, uh, it says beam up. Now, because I'm under, you, usually I couldn't beam up. If I was above ground, let me show you what I'm talking about. Stop burning for a second. All right. So, if I see, it won't let, it won't let me now. I can't beam up. I'm trying to click it? Nope. Nope. Only beam up. If I'm admin, I can. And in order to beam up in any case, in any scenario where you're playing on um, regular mode, you have to be above ground and have the ship be able to detect. You. So here's, there are there are these little capsules down on the ground at all times. So usually you can find them anywhere. Now I just need a few more of these things, and I should be good. I'll move right back up. Um, I think they did change a few things before. Uh, they did try something in an update a while ago, from what I remember. Uh, when you used to when you play this game, from like I think it was about last year or something. I cannot remember. Um. You would have to, when you die down into a dungeon, you couldn't re you if you like. Here, wait. Let me think. Let me think. Wait. Let me see. What I'm trying to say. Hang on. Let me see if I still have it. So if I save, because right, this is what I used to do when I got stuck in a dungeon. All right. So yeah, what you used to be able to do is when you played this game, is you could save, quit. And then it would put you back on your ship. So if you were in a dungeon, save, quit, and then go back to your character, you'd be on your ship again. You wouldn't have to find the surface and teleport back up. Because when you're down in a dungeon, you have to find yourself. You have to find yourself a way back up so the teleporter can get to you. Otherwise, you're stuck down there, and you have no idea how difficult it can be sometimes to get back up there. Now, the only, you have another option is you can kill yourself, but that makes you lose experience and experience. And if you're playing on hardcore, you automatically die. Now, now I did that, I'll get a bunch of quests. Now, they used to have only a few quests. They used to have one quest. You would have this quest, and there would be a tutorial, and then it would do something else. It would. Um, let me actually check if they have the items. All right. So yes, in fact, they don't have this item anymore. Now, this was in the official game. Uh, what you did about what? 10 quests, this was not, this is the official gameplay, this was in an earlier, earlier stage of the game, yeah, you do about 10 quests maybe, and you get to this item, now this item, a distress beacon, who knows who will hear it, you craft it out a wooden crafting table, blah blah blah, it's just, it took a long time to get this stuff guys, because, let, let you remember, they didn't have a lot of the items they have now, so, uh, you would have to craft, craft a distress beacon, and then, what would happen is you'd get left off. There would be nothing else you could do after this. It would spawn. It would spawn a boss, and then you get you get an item from the boss, and then you know you're you're pretty much stuck after that. There was no other quest. There was no other missions or anything. But now they uh, added a bunch of new. See. So you get the distress beacon at the end of the tutorial. Now they don't have that item anymore. They changed anything up, which is pretty cool. So uh, we got a little cat here. Every every um, and our ship's fuel system's not working still. So uh, oh, we got this. All right. So now we're gonna get into this game for real. We have this is a better item than the sword, I think. No way. Swing speed 1.22. Yeah, this is still better. 
Uh, each character has their own or their own special weapon. I have no idea why we have that. I don't know if it's a reference. I think I think this was a reference to something, but I cannot remember. So now uh, we need to repair the ship's drive. We'll do that. Now we can actually fly our ship. So we need wait, we need a manipulator module and paint mode. All right. So now, now give me a second. I'm going to cheat through this part and then show you more, more interesting stuff. All right. So now I fully maxed out this item thing, whatever. And now we'll go and we'll see the outpost. So right over here. Um, I don't believe we need any fuel because we're still at admin. No, wait. Forgot. You don't need fuel in the first place to travel around. Um, Yes, you don't need to feel in the first place to travel around the same star system, so we're jumping right now. And scoop on speed. Yes. And then the background will come up, which is really cool, and you can see it out the windows and kind of stuff like that. But everything in the background. Which is really cool. Um, if you hold shift while using this thing, it'll shrink in your uh, size. So uh, I can be able to take out smaller things. You can see I can take out one block instead of everything. And if you hold this, you'll take out all those blocks. So, and then you can also another thing that I, I wish I wish you could do is I wish you could add more windows, but you can't add more windows because honestly, I'd like to see the back of the ship more. You know, you know what I'm saying? I wish we could uh, add more more uh, windows here, like windows over here. <sighs> Nice and clean. Alright. There is the outpost. Here it is. Now, they've updated this thing like crazy. I didn't a lot. See, they've added these heads. And I. Oh, well, yeah, look, there's, a, there's still one race missing. I believe they're going to add one race. One more race, guys, so. Pretty cool. They haven't finished the Nova Kids race descriptions yet. Um, they have this thing, which is a mysterious arc, which. Was claimed to destroy the planets. If you were reading the, th the thing in the beginning when I was talking about, they had the mysterious, uh, mysterious, whatever it was called. Wait, where's my flashlight? Wait, oh, I forgot. This is a two-handed item. There we go. A uh, flashlight's very valuable item. You only get one of them in the game, I believe. I cannot remember. I'm almost certain you can't craft anymore. Now this is that great evil. This is a great evil. This is what was claimed to destroy Earth. And this is us pushing back the great evil. I think. I think that's how the story is going to go. Um, I'm not sure if you need the several races. Now these are all the races up to date. These are all of the... So there's... I don't know if I can identify them all. Uh, I believe this one's glitch right here. And this is obviously how it's all with the three eyes. Uh, this, I can't tell, might be a Nova Kid? I don't know. This, I know this one. I know this one. This one is the plant cannabis plant. It's the Florin because of the jawline. The jawline has spikes. They have uh, these sharp teeth because they're hunters. This one is Apex because of the nostrils, and obviously human is up top. It's got a blank stare, regular stare, no no uh, definable facial features, not no three eyes or anything crazy like that. So I believe this is a Nova Kid, I think. Uh, if we keep going right, I don't know if there's anything else over here yet. Yeah, yeah. As of now, there's nothing else over here. Um, if I have upgraded my suit, you can upgrade your suit, by the way. There are um, perks that look at your rocket boots, you know permanent jump things like that but I'll let you guys figure out all the other bonus secrets and things like that for now I just want to wrap this up and uh, just explain a little bit this this is probably us I can't see his face I wish I could I wish I could fly up there right now but I don't have my rocket boots so uh, give me a second all right here we are now we're on the outpost so this was the other option you could teleport to, and they have the Affinity Express, and oh, they're actually selling fuel right now. 
but there used to be a mission that you had to actually unlock the field. Now, they didn't have, I'm not sure if they had all these quests before, but, um, see, these guys have personality now. They'll run around, they'll talk to each other, they'll flirt, they'll flirt with each other, you'll see hearts every now and then. Uh, they all have their own just commentary and description of things. Um, you guys can read that game. It's a little glitchy right now because things fly around a lot, like, they'll repeat themselves and it'll get really messy. This marketplace, and like I said, they had a install feature, which is really nice. Um, you can also do 3D printing in this game. You can scan furniture items, and you can make them again if you ever lose them. Uh, they also have teleporters, and you need a teleporter core, but you can teleport to any location on a planet if you have one teleporter down on it. So if you wanted to teleport to a, a village or a colony that you built, just place a teleporter down. They added the frog furnishing up there, and the signs. Um, there is another one called, there's another uh, store they're adding, I saw it, um, give me a second, I'll show you what it is. Uh, this, sh I believe is the store, um, I think I've placed it, I'm gonna go place it on a planet and show you um, what it says, but yes, yeah, so you can actually, if you use admin commands, you can actually get stores and you can place them on planets. And which is actually pretty goofy to do on servers is go to a planet and then place a store down and everyone starts buying from it. It's kind of funny, honestly. Um, right now the characters, they don't buy from planets or anything like that and all of the items at the outposts will stay, um, they'll stay, they'll stay like, like, all these items, they won't change. And actually, which is pretty cool with, uh, with the vendors, there's a couple of vendors in, in some areas, they'll actually change their items every now and then, I think. I um, so yeah, we'll get, we got quests, and after doing these quests, uh, blah, gear up, um, yes, doing this, following the tutorial will get you a mission, it'll get you a boss mission quest. And then, yeah, I'll show you what. I'll show you one more thing, and then I'll stop boring you guys. Um, so, be right back. One more thing, guys. So I'm going to uh, get, get rid of this guy, because I, I, like, I like this guy. And I'm going to log in. It's me. And, um... All of this over here, I actually did legit. Like, all of this, everything over here... I, have, I put all this stuff in, I put all this stuff in legit, now when I started cheating is when I added some of these, I put this room in legit, uh, I put this room in legit, you can't choose to what your room is to look like, but you can decorate them however you want, so, I spawn this item in, I spawn that in, that in, I spawn this room in, I spawn this room in, I did this one legit, I went to a prison for this one, I wired all the doors to this control panel, uh, see, you can you can also see your wiring with your mad manipulator. You can wire items together, so kind of like redstone in Minecraft. You can also paint tiles. I don't like painting tiles because that would be obnoxious. I'm not that much of a builder. I like decorating more. So unless I put this room in legit and uh, this room, I cheated these items over here, but I put that in legit. No way, I didn't put that table in. This that black uh, kitchen table. In. So I kind of cheated with pretty much everything. And I cheated with these because you have no idea how much resources these tables cost. But they let you get your own specific... They let you get a specific set of armor. And I chose to go with... Um, the red armor, which is power armor. And it lets you shoot more bullets. And stuff like that. Uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. So if I turn off my admin, um, on, the, on the top left, if you look on the top left, I have a meter, and that goes down, and then it has to recharge. Now, the red armor lets it recharge extremely fast, and I actually did that legitimate. I actually have a, actually, that red table you see right there is the one I actually crafted, and then I spawned that one in. I remember doing that. But I also spawned in all these chefs and cooks like that. Um, I, I did buy these before I did um, figure out how to do the admin thing, I, and then, oh yeah, I forgot, uh, making colonies, yes, so you'll have people you can put in any room, 
Here, I'll show you. Uh, place in an enclosed building with at least one door and light, and someone will move in. Now, I actually still have room over here, surprisingly. So I can place one right there, and it'll that'll go off, and then someone will join the ship. And then I can place one in here, and I spawn I spawned this in. And in the our in the outpost, there is an arcade game, and it's called Starbounder. And, or not, Maze Bounder 64, and you can actually play this, this is an actual game they put in here now. Uh, you got those, and you gotta, you gotta beat this game, but if you win, you actually get a ticket, and it's for a quest, which is pretty cool too. One more thing I want to show you before I end this episode here is music. And I'm going to come down to my planet, and I'm gonna run through the town playing music. Alright, so... Uh, I... what the heck did he just... okay. And they listen to your music and everything. You can talk to them. And yeah, the... some other things are a little bit buggy still. Oh yeah, put it in an arcade. And then you can put in your own music files in this game. If you want to make your own music files, you can put them in. Um, I spawned in a store down here so people could shop. And then I put a lot of people in this map. But sadly, they're all randomly naked for some reason. So me take on me. Take me away from home Show me all the places I've never known And we'll change